show, number one. Number two, you can make free you can make comments with a free Spreaker.com account. That's S P R E A K E R dot com. Go to the chat bubble. Go. Let me get into my app so I can show you how to you can actually you can actually uh sign up with an account straight from the app as well. So once the app loads up and you see the player that says player is loading, once it loads, go into the chat bubble. Once you're in the chat bubble, as you can go to any one of the shows, and it takes you right to the chat bubble. Once you're in the chat bubble, go to the very top where it says sign up. Click sign up. Once you click sign up, it should take you to this area. And once it takes you to the next area, hold on just for a second, guys. I got to read, get an ad going off of here. Once it takes you into the, once you, okay, you're in the app, you go to chat bubble, you hit where it says sign up. Once you hit where it says sign up, it's got all these different places you can sign up with. You can sign up with a free speech, uh, on air talent, broadcaster, anchor man. Yes, I'm Anchor Man right now, but when you just go to where it says free speech and then hit free free sign up, then once you go to hit to hit free sign up, then you just click on a Google account. You can't do Facebook, I know that for a fact, but just at the bottom, just name, email, password, password again. I'm not a robot. I agree, and then sign up. That's all you have to do. Don't worry about the top two options because you don't have to actually do those top two because the facebook i know does not work just yet but i'm pretty sure the google doesn't either but you never know but just go to where it says name email password password again i'm not a robot click on there i agree and sign up once you do that then you're good to go you got a free account get out of the app go back into the app and you can make all the comments that you want to through the app while the show's going on and you can also chat with us for nothing you don't even have to have a free Spreaker account, but you can leave comments on the show with the chat bubbles, or you can leave comments with the the uh, portal chat feature, but you do not have to actually sign up for that at all. You can do that anonymously with just your first name. With that being said, what else can you do on the app? Well, you can connect with me through Facebook, Twitter, and email. Yes, Facebook, Twitter, and email. Yes, email. Go to the bottom right-hand corner of any page, Click on your email client. Click on the email button, the bottom right hand corner. It looks like an envelope. Click on your email client. Click always on Android at the bottom. Type in your email. And then hit send. Now that seems like a lot. But the next time you go back to the email, it's click the email button. It instantly takes you to the email that quick. That quick. Type in your message. Hit send. So email button message send it's that quick you never have to spell c-o-m-m-u-n-i-t-y-c-l-o-u-d two 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 edge g-m-a-i-l dot c-o-m <sighs> never again will you have to do all that just to get the message out you go to the, the email button first click on it click on your email client click always type in your message and send next time you go back there Email button, click on it. You're already at the email. Type in your message. It's that quick. Type in your message, hit send. So email button, type a message, hit send. Done. That is a that my friend is a pet T G I F life hack. It makes your life so much easier. That way you never have to spell it out all over again just to get it there. You just click the button right in the bottom right hand corner of any page, and you're good to go. Type click on your email client, click always. Type your message, hit send. Next time you go there, it's that quick. You could write to the email and you can send it right then and there. Never even have to think twice. Never even have to blink twice either. (laughs) What else can you do on the app? You can also listen to the four play buttons. Number one, 95.5 The Fish from Cleveland, Ohio. Number two, KJIC out of Texas. Number three, my former church, Evangel Christian Churches. And finally, I'm so excited, number four. My church now here in Ohio, Portage Community Chapel. When you click on their button, it takes you straight to their Vimo page in app. It never 
ever does anything outside of app. It always loads up all results in app when you click on anything. So click on their page, click on their Vimo button, and it takes you right to their Vimo page in app. Now their button is a rectangle shape just like the rest of them, but it's got the colors blue, brown, I think orange or something, yellow. There's some green in there. So check that out. Click on that button right there. It takes you to the Vimo page in app. And then the first thing it does, it takes you to their about page, who they are, what they're about, how many videos they got going on, things like that. And then when you click on the word video, so click on videos, it takes you straight to their video page. And all the videos that say, uh, that say, um, Pending on it means that they haven't it hasn't aired yet, but it will soon. So it will say coming soon or something. So click on one of their videos. You can listen to their every Sunday morning services on the app as well. And what else can you do with the app? You can at the bottom of the play buttons do a Google search result. If you got questions that you need answered and we're not available at that moment to answer you for whatever reason, go to the bottom of the play buttons page, type in your search result and the enter button on your on-screen keyboard or your virtual keyboard. No, on your on-screen virtual keyboard or on your physical keyboard if you're using Chrome. Because the email button blocks the little search button on the actual screen, so you can't move your mouse over to the search button. Click on it because that does not work at this moment, which is fine. But just on your virtual on-screen keyboard, hit the enter button or on your physical keyboard if you're using Chrome, hit your enter button as well, and it'll take you straight to your search results in-app. Everything loads in-app, and yes, I did turn Safe Search on. I did test it and looked up stuff that I don't need to look up, but I wanted to make sure that it was functioning properly because I don't want somebody out there going, yeah, my wife will never know. It's a Christian app. It's a godly-looking app. It is godly. And I can do this, this, and this, and she'll never know because it never saves results. And No, I didn't invent it for you to, to do that stuff. I invented that as a feature for you to be able to look up things, to find more results on something you need or a question you have. Or if you just want to randomly look up, you know, scriptures on faith and whatnot. That's a great place to do it at because then there's nothing in there that is of inappropriateness at all. I mean, there there still is. I mean, if I look up a certain word, which I'm not going to say on the air, but I look up certain words that do bring up results for things of that nature, but it's not inappropriate as in there's no sexual pornography. There's no anything like that. You can't look up a naked woman or a naked man or whatnot. But doesn't mean it's perfect. There are still some things that you can get around. I'm not going to say how. And there are some things that still pop up that are not godly, but it's not to the point to where you're going to be completely sinning when you look things up. So I did it that way. So the way it's it's a it's an app that is of a family nature, and I don't want a family app. To be having all that garbage in there shouldn't be in there. So with that being said, uh, enjoy yourself with that. Do a Google search result if you need to. And finally, last of all, what can you do on the app? You can communicate with everyone who owns the app through the portal chat feature. So go download Podcast Portal. That's P-O-D-C-A-S-T-P-O-R-T-A-L. Again, it's P-O-D-C-A-S-T space P-O-R-T-A-L from Google Play, Amazon App Store, and the app toy market download the podcast portal and then go to the very back of the page now there's two ways you can do this you can either scroll with your finger right to left and get to each page or it can go left to right and then uh, the top would say pod podcast the second one will say twitter i mean facebook third one's twitter fourth one is play buttons and the because you'll see the little play button fifth one is portal chat which is a keyboard and you can do it that way too that way it brings up all your listings all in one row just click 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 and you're done so also do it that way as well that would be the best option i think but you can slide right to left if you want to but if you slide left to right everything's in one straight row just click on whatever you need go to the portal chat feature and chat with us chat with us live on portal chat while we are doing the show if you want more information you can always ask questions during the portal chat and i'll get with your questions as soon as i can 
And it's great. You can come, you can talk with me and everyone else who owns the app as well. Let me see who's on portal chat right now. If anybody is with that being said, you can chat with everyone who owns the app on portal chat. And that is one of the greatest features of the app is the portal chat. Don't get me wrong. I like the play buttons. I like the fact you can listen to the show. I like the fact that you can do all this great stuff with the show. But I also like that you can chat with everyone too. Everything on this app is 100% wonderful. I love it. I love it. I love it. Now, on some phones, it doesn't work as good as I would want it to. Like on my phone, yeah, there's nobody here. On my phone, when I do it on the main page, I brought the picture up. But then the bottom of the but then the bottom of the the bottom of the the actual play uh the the portion of the playlist that drops down with the the play buttons for the show the show part it's a lot large a lot smaller than the phone screen is so that on mine you got this big gap in the very bottom i'm gonna have to live with it some phones will do that and some phones it does not it just depends on your phone my other phone works great for it my old phone works wonderful for the app it fits in that screen absolute perfect but doesn't fit in this screen absolute perfect so i gotta have to figure out what's going on and see what the deal is and maybe i can fix that myself but it's a great app Download it. It's called Podcast Portal, P-O-D-C-A-S-T space P-O-R-T-A-L, available on Google Play, the Amazon App Store, and the Aptoid Market. And one more thing to mention is the Podcast Portal now is on the Alexa players. You can take your Alexa devices and you can say, you can say, and excuse me for turning on your devices if you have them, you can say, Alexa, open up Podcast Portal. And it'll say either welcome to Podcast Portal or welcome back to Podcast Portal. It'll open it up and you can listen straight to the show straight from there. You can also listen to us on the uh, Amazon Music as well. But just say Alexa, open Podcast Portal. That way you don't have to say open TGIF uh, podcast or this or that. Just say open Podcast Portal. It's so much easier, and it's a new skill that you can have on there. And we also can have that now. We also got that app or a skill for Alexa on the uh, video devices as well. You'll see our logo and everything while you're listening to it. So enjoy yourself with the app. Enjoy yourself with the new Alexa skill, and let's hear from you on the app. You can also on the app take a picture with your camera, Say a monument of your area. Say you're in France and you want to take a picture of the Eiffel Tower and send it to me. You snap a picture of the camera app. You go back into the podcast portal. You click on the camera at the bottom. You hit where it says upload picture. You click there. You put that picture into it by clicking on it. Hit send and you're good to go. And it sends a picture straight through the app. It's no longer an inline picture. It is a physical picture that you can do from your phone straight to the app and you can actually send me pictures of your day what you're doing what you're reading and all that fun little stuff now i don't want to go into specifics about who you are i just want to know a little bit more about you and what you enjoy and things like that because you're my listener that's the way it's supposed to be i'm supposed to get involved in your life a little bit that's if if a pastor or a minister does not get involved in either their listener or their church attendees life how in the world are they going to know what to do, what to pray for, and what, how to, you know, you know. It's great when someone comes up and you say, hey, Brother Andrew, how are you doing today? So I heard you're going through such and such. How's that going? Do you need prayers for that? That's perfect. That's why I want to do these things so I can get into your lives a little bit and pray for you, each and every one of you, and get to know who you are in a small aspect, not a huge aspect. So with that being said, guys, Let's get into the worship Saturdays. I've talked almost two hours, not quite an hour and a half. So let's get into worshiping God, shall we? Let's get into first our first artist of the worship Saturdays of November 6th is none other than Dudley Smith with his song, Jehovah Reigns, Enjoy Jehovah Reigns. We have heard many times in our Christian life that God has everything under control. 
The best part about it is that you can trust that statement. 